I'm Nina. Uh, I'm a peer tutor at Recovery College, and this is new for me. Uh, I don't know, I'm a bit of a reluctant cook, so this is also a learning curve for me as well. <laughs> but I do like things to be very simple. So what we're going to do is mainly uh, do, uh, starting with salads, uh, different kinds of salads. That's always easy, a uh, little bit of prep time. But um, uh, when, when we uh, do, do have a, a, a Zoom session, uh, I hope we can uh, talk about other foods as well. And um, yeah, so because a lot of things affect your mood. If you don't feel up to it, yeah, sure. That's all you want to do, a salad, a quick salad. Take it easy, enjoy it, try things out. It's always good uh, and interesting uh, to try new stuff. And, and don't ever feel guilty if you're having too much of chocolate or, or something sweet. It, at, at this time, it's, it's kind of anything goes. Hi everyone, my name's Jess. I'm the manager here at the Tower Hamlets Recovery College. And today I am going to be the professional tutor in the quick college cook-up course. Uh, so, um, Nina's already introduced what we're going to do today. I just wanted to come and mention that we are going to be wearing a face covering and an apron and gloves in line with the um, protection measures as an identified by the government and because we're handling food um, today and I guess also in this um, pandemic climate. Uh, before we start, um, we're going to uh, list the ingredients that you'll need. So if you want to join along while you're cooking, while we're, while we're cooking, you can do so. Um, but if not, you can watch the video through and then come back and look at the ingredients list. Okay, let's start. Cool, so today we're going to start off with our salad. Um, we've got a whole bunch of fresh food. We've got vegetables, some um, apples here, a lemon, some fresh leafy greens. We've got olives, Brazil nuts, sun-dried tomatoes, yogurt, uh, peppers, tomatoes, um, cucumber, scallions, spring onion, uh, pomegranate sugar snap peas, an onion, some spinach and some fresh parsley and some mixed beans, chickpeas and green peas. So I guess what we wanted to show is that you can do anything with the salad. You can um, add any bits you want to add and you, I guess it's something where you can think about what you feel you need at that moment. So if you're craving something, I don't know, crunchy, you might add some sugar snap peas if you're craving something like quick and easy, you might just want to put in some leaves and some fresh um, tomatoes that you don't need to chop up. Um, yeah, so Nina and I are going to have a go and think of what we're going to make today for our salad. Right. Um, I am a, a, a salad person because that is the easiest of things to do. And they, there can be such a variety. You can have it as, as straightforward salad or you can mix it with couscous or bulgur wheat. And uh, make make like a tabbouleh. Uh, you can have some tin tin uh, uh, ingredients, some fresh ingredients. Mix and match everywhere. The other thing is that don't be afraid. Uh, if you want to use tin stuff or or uh, bought sauces, that's fine. Whatever's easier. Me, I'm a very lazy cook, so <laughs> I take the easiest option. <laughs> So I empty a can, can of tomatoes, throw in some herbs, uh, uh, vegetables, meat, whatever, chicken, whatever you like. I do the same with pizzas. But buy a bought pizza and then add some toppings on it. Okay, so I'm just slicing up some red onion. I love onion. In I'm not very good with my skills, so if you're judging me right now, please stop. <laughs> I'm going to add some spinach. I love spinach because it's full of nutrients and um, I don't eat meat myself so I try to eat a lot of spinach 
um, for the iron and all, all the other nutrients that comes with it. For a summer salad, I love having cucumber. When I was young, I used to just, um, my mum used to give half a cucumber in my lunchbox and that used to be my snack at 10.30 in the morning. So it's certainly something I love to have. I just myself just cut it in half and then I just slice down this way. I'm not sure if that's the right way, but this is the way I do it. How are you going over there, Nina? Uh, I'm, I'm peeling my uh, cucumber because uh, for, uh, for, my, for my IBS, I'm not allowed to eat any peel. So it always comes off. It's a bit of a bummer because I do enjoy it with the peel, but there you are. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I remember you telling me a bit about um, your journey with food and finding out what's you know helpful and not helpful for yourself and how you feel after eating. Do you want to share a bit about that? Yeah, um, the thing is that uh, when I was put on medication, I hadn't realised how many different kinds of side effects I would have. And one of them was uh, having to give up one of my favourite cheese. I'm on a different medication now. I'm able to eat cheese. Yeah! <laughs> I love macaroni cheese, so I'm happy. And um, for the IBS, whether it's fruit or veg, uh, I have to peel everything. Same with potatoes. If I make a potato salad, I've got to take the peel off totally. Otherwise, I'm, I'm in trouble. And was it was it easy to find out what what was helpful or what, what was no if it, uh, just, just just trial and error mm -hmm. absolutely I mean the thing is that one one day you're eating something next day you want to eat it again and it's no you can't stand it you're heading for the toilet or vomiting or something like that mm -hmm. yeah you know and uh, it's really annoying but once you get into a bit of a feel. Uh, of how your body is reacting to medication, then uh, uh, you adapt. It's kind of a, all, all a learning process, all, all a learning process. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, and when I first uh, stopped eating meat, there was a lot of things I had to kind of think about in terms of how I got different types of nutrients and um, I guess still being creative with food. Like, I really love cooking. I don't always have a lot of time, I generally go home pretty late, but I always try to do something with food because um, it's an outlet, I think, where you can be creative in a day-to-day -day activity. You know, sometimes we think of creativity as having to be, I don't know, doing something really dedicated like art or painting or something like that, sewing, I don't know, knitting, but cooking is something where you can express your creativity and you still, you still have to eat anyway. So you might as well do two things, and it's um, yeah something I really enjoy. I also really enjoy um, like learning about food and learning about what's like helpful, um, what's good for my mood. Because I'm certainly somebody who's I've had like lots of experience of mental health difficulties around food throughout my life. So it's a really important part of my personal recovery every day. So learning about food, understanding food, understanding how it helps me. Um, improve my mood every day is a really important part of my um, everyday recovery. So I definitely like to eat food that's really fresh because I feel that's I know, something like, I, I guess I feel like I'm rewarding my body for all the hard work it does for me every day. Um, so I love salads for that. Pop that in there. Um, one of my friends recently told me that you can actually grow spring onions when they're like this at home. So you just take the end of the spring onion after you've chopped off the green part and you pop, pop it in a jar of water about that. So it's just, just so that this much of it is covered in water. So the white part and you just pop it in like a nice sunny spot. And I guess within a week, a week and a half, you'll see it grow back almost to this. I mean, within 10 days I had this or longer. So it's a really great way to grow your own uh, spring onions at home. Not spending any more money. Yeah. And uh, uh, for the third year running, uh, I'm, I'm attempting to do, uh, use my pots and and uh, grow potatoes. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, they even if the, the original potato was a large one, 
best I get are a small, small ones, but, but that's also nice. Yeah, 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 for sure. Because you know, if you have a whole, whole heap of that. I'm leaving off the dressing because otherwise everything will get uh, soggy and that I don't want. But use your imagination and don't be afraid to use rice, couscous, bulgur wheat, whatever, you know. Anything goes, anything and everything goes, as far as I'm concerned. Oh yes, I wanted the pomegranates in there as well. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it looks so lovely. Yeah. Fresh and summery. Mm. And the other thing about couscous salad, you don't have it just uh, as uh, savoury, because what I'm very partial to is use uh, dried fruit, dried apricots, dried dates, figs, uh, mix it in with the, with the couscous, add in your uh, pomegranate, brilliant. So, so you get your sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yours, that looks really tasty. It looks like the proper summery salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. This year was the first time I've ever grown anything in my life. So I've managed to grow coriander, uh, coriander chilies, chives, uh, parsley and mint. And I've done one harvest and I just checked them this morning and they're all growing. So I'll probably harvest them again in about a couple of days. So it's a really good way. I mean, I haven't bought herbs at all this summer. And I feel really connected to, I guess, where food comes from much more than I did before I started growing food. So yeah, so it's definitely something I recommend getting into. Um, yeah, so... You just need a little time and patience. Yes, and a bit of a sunny spot as well, which is tricky in London for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, the thing is that uh, I'm unlucky, my, my little outdoor uh, uh, batch on the walkway outside my front door is north facing. And it's really annoying. Because it's only in summer when, 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 when the sun sun comes up for a little while and then I get all the afternoon sun yeah and uh, so, so I mean you know it should, the middle of the day when, when you when you when you want want everything to grow whether it's flowers or, or, or vegetable uh, it doesn't work for me so I'm very upset oh. <laughs> Just adding some chopping up some Brazil nuts to add on the top and I think my salad is ready I'm going to just plate it up. I'm going to heat up some of this rice as well. Oh, I've got a rogue cucumber there. Get some of these beans on. And then add some of these nuts on top. Oh yeah, and some parsley. Just chop a little bit of parsley up. That'll give a nice, kind of like a Mediterranean taste to it. There you go. There's my salad. Thanks for watching. Right. Nina? So I made another another little salad using the chickpeas and, the, and beans and things and I've added a few more things uh, for my Chinese stir fry very easy a little bit of oil quickly fry and you can have it as a, uh, with noodles oh, oh yes you can have a noodle salad with mm -hmm. all these kinds yeah, of yeah. ingredients as well yeah I generally make a fresh uh, sober noodle salad Sober noodles are Japanese buckwheat noodles, which you can get from the supermarket. They're brilliant because you just boil them in a kettle boiled water for four minutes. So you just boil the kettle, put it, put, um, put it into a bowl, hot water, pop the noodles in there. Four minutes later, you just rinse them under cold water and you can have them on a better salad. It's a really easy way to make it tasty. And they're really good for you. Food is about what makes you feel good in yourself. That doesn't mean that it necessarily has to tick all the healthy food boxes. If it's what your body is saying that it wants at that moment, then that's also really important to listen to your body. Um, yeah. yeah, so thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are going to go on to our dessert next. So keep watching because that's always the best part. Um, yeah, let's go.